Okay, so I filmed this whole, <laughs> I filmed this whole video and realized I didn't do an introduction. So, hello, welcome to October. Can't believe it's already October. Anyway, I am, I'm not going to be on, I'm not going to be on camera the whole time for this one because it is time to play Becky to, sorry, it's not, that sounded like it's an annual thing. Anyway, um... I am, for October, I'm participating in Becca's book -thon for October. And so this is just an intro to say, welcome to the video. And then I will cut to me doing the roles and going to my TBR. Bye. Okay, so you're just getting voice over me for this bit, but I'm going to, I have set up my phone tripod so you guys can see the board. And I think I'm going to start with four rolls and then see what happens when I get doubles or if I get doubles. And then, yeah, so I'll film this stuff on my phone and then I will switch to my main camera to show you what I selected for the prompt. Okay, so let's do my first roll. Oops. And of course the first roll is a double, so that means I'll be adding a book onto my TBR already. So now I'm doing five rolls. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's feed scroll. I'm just gonna jump in in between rolls to tell you guys what I to tell you guys my choice for the roll. So the first roll I got was five plus five was a 10, which got me to feed scroll. So this was the only one that I didn't really choose for myself. The feed kind of chose for me. I scrolled on Goodreads for ages and I didn't own or have access to a single one of them. But I wanted to Instagram and I finally found a picture that has a book that I own in it, which I'll put on the screen. But it's Who Did You Tell by Leslie Cara. I have had this book on my TBR for so long that I'm glad that I'm finally getting to it because it was, <laughs> yeah, because it's been sitting on my shelves for so long. I really need to, I really need to just sit, to just settle down and read it. So this is actually giving me the excuse to do that. And we'll move on to roll number two. And that's five. One, two, three, four, five. That is, are we out of the woods yet? And the next one that I got was four and one, which got me to, are we out of the woods yet? And based on what I read, like based on what the um, sheet that Becca wrote out was, it's a, it's a book that takes place in like the woods or an isolated setting or has trees on the cover. I was going to give myself choices for this one, but I was intending to read this book anyway, like, because I have a vlog that I was going to do with it in October. So for that, I'm going to read Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. There are trees all over this cover. It won't focus, but yeah, there are trees all over this cover. Plus, it's in an, plus it is in an isolated setting, so it hits it in both ways. Three and two, that's five again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's dice roll roulette. So then, as you can see, my next one was three plus two, which got me dice roll roulette. I re-rolled a dice and it eventually got me to eight, which is, hold on, let me bring it up really quick. Sorry. Yeah, so rolling eight got me between 375 to 424 pages. And I did find a few options for this one. I've got A Noise Downstairs by Linwood Barclay. Um, I'll just confirm these as I've gone to it to, remind, to make sure that it was between those numbers. Yep. Um, Lake's Edge by Lindor Clipstone or 
The Lost Housewife by Ashley Winstead. See it. These are my three po these are my three possibles for that prompt. Okay, so this is my fourth roll. Oh, okay, and I'm adding one more on. Okay, so three and three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Toffee apple. And the next prompt that I ro that I rolled was three and three, which got me to toffee apple, which is a sticky book, a book that I'm that I think I'm going. It was a book that I think I'm gonna stuck it like sucked into, or a book that yeah, or a book that I don't think I'm gonna be able to put down. Now. One thing I, I can guarantee is probably any of these um, Steve Kavanagh books. Let me focus it. Yeah, probably any of these Steve Kavanagh books from this Eddie Flynn series. Because I, I've i read a few of these series before. I've read a few of these books before. And I smashed them out in like one or two days. Like, I really like these series of books. So yeah, I'm probably going to just go with any of the Steve Kavanagh series. Or any of these Steve Kavanagh books in the Eddie Flynn series because I have like got sucked into them before and I finished them in a couple of days. Okay, so that was my four rolls that I was going to do anyway. Now we will move on to the two extra rolls that I have because of my doubles. Oh, and there is another double. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Michael Myers. And then the next one that I got was four and four, which is Michael Myers, which is read a sequel. Again, I'm going to go with the same choice that I just made with my last one. And any of these, and any of the books in the, the, in the Eddie Flynn series by Steve Kavanaugh, because I've been meaning to smash out more series. And while it was October, I wanted to get through one of my like, thriller series so yeah i'm gonna go with the same options as i did for the last one which is any of the books in the eddie flynn series and the next extra roll nine okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so and that is a under 300 pages or a small book and then I rolled a five and a four, and that got me to any book that's less than three hundred pages. Again, I'm not gonna go with op I'm not gonna go with like a list of options for this one because I was planning a reading vlog for these in October anyway. But any of these, any of the Disney Chills series, because all of these are just over two hundred pages, I think. Yep, yeah, these yeah, these are just over 200 pages long each. So I'm going to go with any of these. I'm going to lock in any of these Disney Chills series because I'll plan to trade them anyway. And yeah, so let's move on to... I'll cut to my next roll here. Okay, and I think this is the last roll. Okay, six and five, that's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. And that is stabby. Yeah, and so, th and so this was my last roll. It was a six and five, which got me the prompt of stabby. I have two options for this one. This is, this one is about is um Slender Man. It's a non-fiction true crime, but it's about the Slender Man stabbings. So I'm assuming that that will count for that. But then the other option is The Pledge by Kale Diedrich. The reason why I know it's stabby is because the picture on the back is someone literally holding a knife and about to stab someone. So it's really just a route of do I want to go, whoops, do I want to go true crime or do I want to go a fiction book? So I will make that decision in the moment i guess so yeah this was my um this was my roles for 
Becker's Bookoplathon for October. Again, the only ones that I have locked in, the only ones that I have locked in are really yeah, these two are the only ones that I definitely have locked in. Because this one was the feed scroll, so I didn't choose it. And since I'm planning to do a reading vlog for this anyway, I really and it's a big book, I've just gotta commit and throw this one in. But aside from that, I'm not locking in I I'm not locking in a TBR, these are just some maybes. But I will let you Yeah, but I will find something to fill the prompts. And I'll catch up with you guys in my next video. Bye.